Okay, so got my signature hat on today. Signature hat gives the guy something to talk about at the job sites. Let's see if I can. Oh, I guess I can't even get in the dam. What the point? What's the point of saying you got a signature hat on if you can't show your signature hat? All right, you can get distracted by the background if you want, or you can pay attention. So these are. These here are BMAs, well, it's just not the scale. One, two, and three. These three BMAs in front of the building. Is that M? I think that's M right here. Could be wrong. But the three of them. On top of these BMAs sit an elevated, an elevated deck. Outside in the, park, in the pool area, uh, an elevated deck times two elevation changes, as I recall. Ultimately, they get you to 13 foot 4 inches inside at the lobby area. 13 4. Coming from 11 foot 10. So let's go ahead and let's double dip on the BMA. Now, that's the visual of the BMA. Now, over here, double dipping, let's consider this the pool deck. Let's consider this the, the elevation change of 1 foot 6 inches. And let's consider this the 13 foot 4. And that's 11 foot 10. So use your coconuts to get to here. At this location though, you just don't have that like that. You also have beams. Do this right. Beams that sit either come through, sit on top of this part of the deck area, and then transfer down to another beam below. Or we have this sitting like this on top of the deck, and then on top of this beam which has the other transfer beam. So let me see if I we well, zoomed in on that. Yeah, that's fair enough. All right, my uh, foxes live back here. So it may look like a mess, but it's their little baby foxes. I can't disturb their little playground. It seems like they love the, uh, the debris area back here, I call it. Not really debris, everything's got its certain purpose, but I can't really do much back there. That's my best excuse for uh, not moving those trash cans and a couple things back there. Let's see. Let's have a little fun. Let's have a little fun with me. Let's troll me a bit. Hammock, can't get rid of it. I have no use for it. Now, yeah, I have a use for it. It's in videos. Over here to the right, multiple cans to use for job sites. But there's my baby. You guys know what that is? Can you guys tell me what that beautiful machine there is? It's for soil compaction. Okay. Uh, oh, great cat, great cat, great cat alert. Great cat, underneath, lives, was underneath the lawnmower. Great cat, you live under the lawnmower now? Great cat, that's steel, that stuff's all covered in steel. It's going up, it's an erecting, erection for, uh, that's an erection for another uh, storage shed. I just don't have time to do it, that's all of the steel in there. Um, covered up. So, we get our column here. Oh yeah, the the the, the uh, those guys are more squirrely than not. They they they're more scared. The foxes are, so I'm not worried about her. Um, this is around because this is, the, this is the barrier that was somewhat broke. It was on the bottom of bottom. This is the bottom. I got it flipped over so we can look at the rebar, how it's at the bottom placement, and yet it still works. We already tested that, and I show I showed us load that. This is that pin piece of steel, the staple. There's the staple piece right there holding together now. Uh, we did a separate video on that. So now, incidentally, Great Cat does not like coming in. She come winter time, she, she, she's like, I'm in. Summertime, she's like, come on, let me out. I'm a stray cat. All right, so I took some liberty here. I had a little bit of an overhang, and this is the uh, um, this could be the pool deck here, and you could have this as the top deck for the 
interior 13 foot 4 slab. Here are your columns. So when you move this, when you move this VMA here, double dipping, the slab is interconnected. Yeah, there it is. So the slab out here, I'm gonna bend it too far. Bend it too far. So the slab is interconnected here with the pool, with the NCI deck at that elevation change. If you pull on this one, you're pulling on this. So if you pull on that outside slab, hopefully that shows. Let me just turn the lens of the camera around. Hopefully I can see it. I want to load this up fast before I get to work this morning or somewhere else. This con this steel, either it's going to disengage or it's going to rotate. There's a little uh, there's a connection sort of like that. That trans that transfers the deck connection up to the third to the elevation change. It gets you up to from the lower from the deck up to the 13-4. From the 11 foot 10 to the 13-4. They do it with that profile like that. And this guy is tied back into here. So I'm, I'm really pulling on. I'm really pulling on this piece. Can you imagine if it's low, if the deck goes the way it's anchored, the way it's the way it's secured, it's gonna do this. It's gonna pull that way, that way. As it pulls it, it's not for free. Not for free. Let's get your side profile. So not for free. Not for free, for free. Come on, camera, tilt down. I'm um, no editing here. This is just Live, live, uh, live for you. So, as you pull on the bottom of the deck here, pulling away because of the punch shearing out happening out in the out in the jump clear, out in the. Uh, and so I'll be distorted because I'm on the end of the end of the lens, so I'll be more distorted. So the uh, so as this pulls away the deck. It's got some links in here like this. I wish I had a budget magic marker. Great cat alert in the background. What's up, girl? Come here. Come here. Come on. She's worried I'm going to snatch her and take her inside. And it's about the rain I take her in if I can get her. It's not going to rain today. She's got, her, she's got a breakaway collar on for you guys wondering about breakaway collars. It's just so somebody stole her once and she was real traumatized when we finally found her a few blocks away. They thought that she was a straight cat, obviously, or they just wanted a cat. But as I told you, she screeches when she wants to go out, so you're not going to keep her down. Oh, she's great jumping to the man lift I have back here. Oh. Is she going to do it? Is she going to do it? Oh, no, I was going to turn the camera and let you guys see it. She was, she was giving it a shot. Um... Go for it. I'm gonna videotape it. Been kind of cool. They love construct. I got construction kitties. They love uh, this stuff. So anyway, as this pulls away, it's gonna do that. It's not gonna just pull, slide it away like that. I don't think it's integral enough inside here to do that. But in reality, it's probably gonna fracture it somewhere about the middle, somewhere there. But remember, nothing for free. As it fractures this, it's not going to pull it off like that. It won't be that way. I'd have to fracture, fracture, uh, fracture a brick for you guys. So it'll be more like that. be more like that but not for free it pulled on the internal deck already pulling on that deck 
cause you to rattle in this column. And that get that 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 works its way all the way up to the top. And I, and I guess I, I should stop playing games with my wording because that's how I try to get you to remember it, such as the word reverberate. So uh, reverberate. <laughs> I can't help it. So it's uh it works its way all the way up to the top. And there's only so much steel that's holding each deck in place. Each deck is only being held up, held in by so much steel, so many rabbit, so much rabbit ears. Rabbit ears when they're turned down, but right now they're turned that way, right? So much steel is engaged. Just a little bit of steel is engaged. Well, you can only go so deep as the column. You wouldn't go that deep. They only went about maybe two, three inches into the column and turned. We know that because we see it ripped off. We see it ripped off, and we see about two inches of cover left. So these are placed about two inches into the corners of the column. So we're on, and we're only coming out maybe, let me see if I can see, the, about 14 inches or so, I'm guesstimating. So it does that, but the top, but the pad also has the rebar in it. Where? Where's the current rebar? It appears to be near the top. And when it does that, it reams it and now it can't hold anymore. Now it can't use the grip force to hold it. It's already started to fracture and seven minutes later, it releases probably about, if we can look at those pads, but we can't even see the pads, they won't disclose them. I would guess we would see by the pads, if we looked at the tops of them, a lot of fractures right about here, where the depth of the rebar goes through. I'm, I'm thinking of here. I'm, so I'm really pushing it out to here, but I just wanted to show you like an edge and I shouldn't have done that should have shown you like from the, the column out to maybe here. We can't really see that. What we're seeing though is that um, the building rattle and we're actually seeing puncture that each one of these pads failed right around the column area. Some of them failed internal to it, mapping internal, internal to it and ripping out. And some of them fell with just a little bit of concrete sticking out off the edge. None of it appears to have, uh, has fault broken back here, broken off and leaving, leaving us a big chunk of concrete behind, such as like this, a big piece of pad, where it made it out of the critical what? The tributary area? Question mark. Tributary area? Where it made it out of the tributary area? Or is this a critical shear area that, it, that none of it seems to make it out of? All right, I'm gonna end that video because I've gotta get still packing. I wanna so bad use this vibrator on the job today, my man vibrator, concrete. And uh, I keep ordering mixes, concrete mixes for this co this job that require no vibration. It's using super plasticizers. Today I've sabotaged myself a bit. It's gonna be 90 degrees and I ordered a six and a half slump. We're super plasticizer. So a five normal slump and six and a half. So it should, in 90 degrees, it's gonna be, they probably gonna be late an hour, so it's gonna be right at noon. So I'll be able to add water to that Super P to bring it up if I need to. But otherwise, I'm gonna try it at 90 degrees, I'm gonna use this vibrator. And it should work pretty well, theoretically. If not, I've got a fail safe because I have Super P in it. I can add some water at that point and it, will, it, won't, it, won't, be, uh, it won't be that nasty. Ha-ha! Scared you, huh? Scared you, great cat. Girl. Come here, girl. 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 Yeah, she likes hanging out with me, but she doesn't do, uh... She doesn't really do the, uh, touching thing, because she can't. She's thinking I'm going to snatch her ass up. All right, let me get rid of the hazard for her right, that's right here, because cat's curiosity, right? So let me not pull that hazard over. And take care of this. Take care, guys. I'll give you more on this. I got a better model. This is just the pre-model to the model. You know, this is the runway. It's a runway model thing we're going to be looking at. This is the first model that comes out. We're not showing our best. We're showing concept right here. What we're going to be showing you, girls in bikinis.